Well, good morning. I've just found out that I can run my Honda generator on LPG. So thanks for joining me again on what is another lockdown day. Uh, as I've just said, I've just found out that you can convert uh, the Honda generator to LPG. So this is the EU22i generator. And I originally bought this last year uh, just for a few nights camping uh, where we just needed power and so on. So at the moment the setup now isn't how I like it. Uh, to, to fill the generator up you've got to take it out and then you've got to put it back in and, and things like that and the, the doorway here just isn't quite tall enough for the generator so I want the, t the generator be, to be more permanent uh, I've got to get a 240 power supply up into the electric cupboard I've got to bring the LPG uh, from the cooker area along the, the, the pot here and down into this cupboard I'm going to be fitting a barbecue point here, which I'll explain that and why I'm doing that, uh, even though I prefer a, a charcoal barbecue. There's a 12 volt extraction unit in here, uh, which I'm, I'm keeping, I'm going to keep that, because that works very well. And also there's some more soundproofing to do, so that's really the scope of the work. So I'm going to be doing this over the next two or three days, depending on the weather, because it's a little bit uh, grey and dull at the moment here. But yeah, so the initial job firstly then is to convert this to LPG. Okay, I've got the LPG kit. Now this, uh, this is a British company called Gear GB, what's provided this. Uh, it retails around about £180, so it's not a cheap bit of kit. Uh, it's not the best kit on the market as well. There's an American company out there which do uh, a much better version of that. Uh, but because they didn't reply to me email soon enough uh, they missed out unfortunately so yeah basically the the kit uh, comes with a bo bottle regulator uh, a secondary regulator and this bit of pipe here now this this kit is uh, is, is the same depending on which uh, you know company you go with this tends to vary uh, this flange here is where the LPG comes into the airflow system and uh, this mounts up in between the carburetors and the air filter so normally this would be air passing in through here but when, when you actually uh, convert it over to LPG LPG comes out of here and obviously goes straight into the carburetor uh, what I don't like about this system uh, is that roughly fixes about here somewhere and this pipe actually comes out at the bottom of the unit now if you're using this on soil or grass or, or dust uh, this attachment here which is some sort of a, a dust cap literally can just just fall off uh, so you are going to get soil and dirt in this I don't like this the, the American one comes out up here which is you know much superior also the American one comes uh, with a new label uh, down here as well so you can remove this existing label and you can put a new sticker label on there and I think it's about 20 uh, 20 pounds dearer but it is a better you know a better system uh, so if I haven't or mentioned already uh, 180 pound I'm not going to actually video this uh, the fitting of this because there's, there's enough of that out there on the uh, on the internet anyway so I'm just going to crack on get this fitted and then you can join me later so what a challenging morning we've got the uh, the copper uh, pipe now all the way along inside and down into this into this cupboard now uh, so I'm looking now at maybe doing the soundproofing uh, looking where we're going to fit the the secondary regulator and also mounting up of this uh, barbecue uh, outlet so I removed a sticker off here so we're going to mount that through there so we're going to mask and tape this up cut the uh, 57mm hole through there and then, and then get this mounted in there uh, and then obviously start working on pipe work on the inside uh, just so you can see in the in, in the locker now you can see these these vents on the back side which allow the air come into the locker uh, this is the 12 volt uh, extractor fan now this this 
this kicks in when we start the the generator this automatically kicks in so it's sucking air through these ports here which is passing the generator and then putting it through a, an exhaust pipe out the back there uh, one thing I didn't show you earlier is this sound insulation what's come this is uh, uh, this is insulation what they use in the car automotive industry which is uh, I think it's about 15 mil thick it's like sound deadening stuff so I'm going to put that in here as well just to add a little bit extra onto the uh, you know trying to keep the locker and the generator as quiet as possible Right, that's the uh, barbecue socket in place. I've obviously got to uh, connect the the copper pipes up on the inside, uh, put the stop tap in, and also to uh, to connect up the uh, the regulator now. So we're inside the locker compartment now, uh, and this regulator I'm going to actually mount just up here on this bracket just here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to mount that up there, and then I'll keep all the all the gas fittings to this side just here. I think that will look nice up there. So out, out of the way, I can still get to it when uh, when we go to start the engine as well, the uh, the generator. So I'm on with the uh, the insulation now, uh, the sound deadening. Uh, we've got it on the door here. We've got it on the two sides. I need to go. Uh, the top of this locker and also across the back and one or two other bits around these these front edges here so uh, yeah I'm on with that now and then we'll start we'll start the exhaust port then so here we are another day uh, what I've done while the camera's been turned off is basically all this now is soundproofed. Uh, so there's actually three layers of soundproofing on here now. Uh, there's two sound deadening mats and then this soundproofing egg box type material on top. So I'm hoping that's going to work very well hopefully. Uh, also uh, I've put this tubing in which is uh, a continuation of the generator's exhaust so that will take all the fumes outside the 12 volt extraction is up at the top here so uh, any any heat what uh, rises off that that should take the uh, the volume of the heat out uh, i have just now cut a little bit of signal plywood with the holes in for the feet for the generator to sit in so when the when the generator is actually in position uh, it is going to always sit in the same uh, in the same location with the uh, with the tubing here for the exhaust, so I'm just going to uh, paint this up, glue it up, fix it, and then we'll start on the gas works. <clears throat> so I've just started working on the on the gas pipe system now. Uh, some of the pipes weren't the right right length, uh, and so on. So I'm I'm working with the rubber pipe and also the the copper pipe. I've uh, installed a, a stop tap just here, so when the generator isn't running or, or we're not using the barbecue point we can turn the gas off as well so uh, we'll have a, a closer look at this once it's all installed uh, another thing you, you will see that I've sprayed the uh, the outlet now as well so another little job I've come across is I've taken out the bottom board just here where the generator sits on and this has started rusting this steel framework so I'm just going to uh, well, I've just cleaned that up and we're just going to give that a little bit of a paint as well while I'm there. And hopefully it will last a little bit longer. This week seems to be one of them weeks where no matter what we've done, we've ended up finished painting. Or 
I've been doing a little bit of painting here and there. I did say I weren't going to show you this, but uh, what I've done here is basically brought the pipe out, fill the top. So that's fixed up there, fill the top. It's have effort of a, a dust cap fixed on there nicely, and I much prefer that system to actually the one coming out on the floor that Gear GB recommends. So I'm I'm keeping that like that. So I, I said I weren't going to show you that, but I'm that happy with it. I'll just let you have a, a slight peek. So this is the 12 volt extraction fan here. This is wired directly into the generator. So when the generator fires up, uh, this will automatically uh, come on and start extracting any heat up here. That will take you straight out the back there. Now, so looking at the locker now, uh, all the LPGs in, in place. We've got the, uh, the feed for the uh, generator uh, obviously this all needs testing so once it's connected up on the inside I'll be able to test all this uh, yeah I've got the strap folding the generator in uh, we've got the location plate at the bottom there are a couple of security features uh, to stop anyone stealing the generator which I haven't shown you uh, for obvious reasons but they're in place as well so I'm really happy with the with the outcome of this locker. So all the work now is mainly on the inside getting the electrics to the electric cupboard. busy we need a new uh, horn on the uh, defender so little job for the missus then I'm wired cool ready to go on then to well. You need an hand there, love. There's one of them rubber gummity things. checking out still recording so I'm just wiring up the uh, the socket now so it's working <laughs> she's wired up the arms ask her to put the kettle on in a minute So this is the electric cupboard. Uh, the the new feed from the generator has now come up here. Uh, we've got the uh, 3000 watt Durite inverter here. And this is the changeover switch. So we've got 240 at this side and then the inverter uh, and generator this side. So if we didn't have 240 mains power, 
and we were running off the generator or the inverter we basically got this plug here which goes from the inverter to the generator whichever you know whichever option you, you're taking this comes up to here we do the change over switch so we turn that over to the right which is the uh, you know inverter generator and then we should have power on the mains board okay that's all the petrol out of the generator well especially out in the carburetors it, it's it's dry now so uh, i should be able to uh, turn this on now connect it all up and then run it on lpg so we'll give it a whirl So I've tested all the gas pipes and everything. So I've used my uh, liquid pen on all the joints and that seems to have worked all right. I can hear pressure coming through. So let's give that a whirl. Obviously there'll be a lot of air in the pipes. LPG Maybe a little bit of fuel in the in the car I've still left a, little, a few vapors and now it's quietened down That seems much better. We'll have to do a, a decibel test as well on this so Yeah it's all up and running, we've got power. Okay, uh, testing the decibels then. Uh, currently, it's averaging about 72. Sixty-eight even. Fifty-nine, a normal conversation, it's in here, over here. Forty-nine. That's that's real. That's really good. I'm really happy with that. <coughs> we'll just try now. Forty forty-one. A quiet library. Uh, Gonna think that the microphones I'm using are, are picking up every sound as well, so uh, so I'm really happy with that. That's really good. <clears throat> right there you go, guys. Uh, I hope you yeah again. I hope you've enjoyed that. I know it's very hard at the moment. If you just bear with me, I mean it's very hard filming uh, in in a car park, and you know we all want to see mountains and lakes and everything like that. But uh, just at the moment with lockdown we're just not actually getting the footage what i'm wanting to get so so you've got to bear with me on jobs like this they are jobs what i needed and this job in particular has been bugging me for a while so it's really nice to get this converted up and running and working so i'm really pleased with that join me next week uh, we're off down to a local electricians auto electricians where we're going to be looking at reversing cameras wide angle cameras spotlights radios and all boatload of other electricals so join me next week and we're down to the auto electricians mm -hmm.